be magic. I have now moved over to Lauren's seat. Lauren's standing over there eating. Uh, hey, do you struggle to get your kids to eat their fruits and veggies? Our parenting expert, Heather Waterfield, is in my seat to tell us how to make it easier. Heather? Yes, yes. how are you? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm very well. I'm very well. Did you know the average American does not eat the five recommended amounts of fruits and vegetables? I would believe vegetables? that. Yes. We're it's hard to get all those is. fruits and veggies it in. It really is, and especially with kids, right? It takes a little bit longer. And one interesting thing to note, did you know that kids have an average of 10,000 taste buds, whereas we as adults only have three to 5,000? What happens? <clears throat> well, as we grow older, we kind of lose them. Yeah. But kids, think about it. I mean, so it's more intense for them, some of those flavors and stuff. And so sometimes they not, might, might not be more willing to eat some of those stronger tasting fruits and vegetables. And then sometimes parents give up too quickly, you know, like they serve them once. It can take up to 10 times for a child to be exposed to fruits and vegetables before they'll even eat it. Um, and also, you know, they're kind of expensive and they spoil, but parents need to know that, you know, canned and um, frozen ones can be just as nutritious. You just well, gotta they have sure a lot of sodium in them. That's the thing, is make sure they are just those vegetables. And you really don't taste not the real vegetables, vegetables right. sometimes. But they can help, especially if you need to supplement if your fruit's mm -hmm. supply has gone for the week. And then we lack ideas to prepare them, right? Sometimes you serve an apple. Run out of creativity. Yeah, exactly. So you got to make it fun. Be creative. You can give creative names to fruits and vegetables. Okay, like peas can be like mm -hmm. Martian drops. Or <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Martian okay, drops. Okay, how about raindrops? Okay. Let's say raindrops instead. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Broccoli can be like crunchy, munchy trees. Let's and then <laughs> drop for us. Um, and then make them look fun. There are hundreds of different ways that you can put a fruit and vegetable on a plate and turn it into like uh -huh. a plate. My kid will eat fruits and vegetables on a stick, on a skewer, more That's so cool. than just placed on his plate. Um, and then let them grow them, you know? Create a vegetable or fruit patch out in your or backyard. Or take them to the grocery store and let them pick out Yeah, whatever, huh? do like new fruits that you haven't tried. Try to find a rainbow of fruits out there. And then do some fun activities. You can read books, you can plant a garden, you can do science experiments. If you make it exciting and fun for them, because if we just sit and say eat, that's not very fun. Make it fun, and they'll be more likely then to eat those fruits and vegetables. All right. Yeah. If you want some more tips besides the Martian drops, there's a link to uh, the Family Conservancy where Heather works. Go to the Morning News page at fox4kc.com.